There's an old phrase that says, run for the hills. Usually we think of that as good advice because if we can get to the high ground, we will be in a place of safety. There's one place in the Bible where that metaphor does not apply. Let's take a look and find out where our real safety comes from. Let me take you today to Psalm 121, first two verses, verses 1 and 2, Psalm 121. Let me read them for you right now. I will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence comes my help. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. We might think of that first phrase, which is actually a question in verse 1, uh, about uh, where does my help come from? I'm going to lift up my eyes to the hills. Well, put into the context of their day, the hills were the places that... Uh, certain activities took place, the high ground, the high places. They typically were places where there were pagan altars and fires burning on the altar. Recently, Julie and I were on Mount Carmel in Israel. It was a high place. That's the place where Elijah took on the prophets of Baal. But it overlooks a great valley which is full of agricultural land. In essence, the people who worked their, their land trying to grow crops would look up to the hills and see the fire burning on the pagan altars and say, if I look to the hills, I will have a great crop down here. But really, this is a, a negative. We shouldn't look to those kind of hills. But verse 2 gives us the best advice we could ever receive. My help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. Rather than looking to any other source or any other activity of man, God invites us to look to Him and to Him alone as our source of help. Are you doing that today? Sometimes we can zoom off in every other direction. We can turn to our hills of human effort, human philosophy, hoping in certain things that really will pay no dividends. But God invites us to look to Him alone. That's really where our help comes from. Hope that encourages you today. We'll talk to you again very, very soon.